Hello everyone and welcome back to another video within our Power BI course playlist. So links to that playlist and other downloadable content can be found in the description of this video. In this video, we're going to be taking a quick look at relationships within our data uh, Power BI data model. So to give this a scenario, what we can do is, let's have a look at our tables actually. So you can see we've got a few tables here, but predominantly we've got a customs table and a tasks table. And if we look in tasks, we can see that we've got a customer ID, but we don't have a customer name. So let's just bring in customer table and we can see what customer ID and there is our customer name. So let's just create a new slicer and I'm going to lazy just do a copy and paste, copy and paste of priority, make that all nice and lined at the end there. And let's bring in customer name, close that. And we can see we've got our list of customers. So let's just deselect and select one of these customers. And you can see at the moment, nothing is happening simply because there is currently no relationship or connection between our customer table and our task table. So how can we, one, obviously identify that and also rectify it? What we need to do is go to our third option here, which is our model view. And we can now see all of the tables available in our data model. What I'm going to do is just condense down the properties pane there, and then we can click and drag and move our uh, items around. So we can do our task table there and also customers. And why not bring our measures table up there for start as well. So we've got obviously customer ID, as we mentioned in our task table, and we've also got it in our customers table. And we need to make sure that these two tables are connected so that we can return our customer name. All we need to do in order to make this connection, because we've already got the fields existing in both, is either go from right to left or left to right, click your customer ID, and then drag it. And you can see when I've hovered over customer ID in my task table, we've got that dotted line. At this point, I can let go, and Power BI will do the magic for us. You can see it's now done our relationship. So you can see it's identified this icon of a star and a one over here. And what that refers to is a many to one relationship. So customer will appear many times in our task list because uh, a single customer could have many tasks assigned to them. However, in our customers table, which is simply our, uh, our table, which contains our name and potentially other details, they're only gonna appear in there once. And if I go into the properties pane here and select this relationship once again, you can now see that information that I just relayed to you is visible to us there. So now if we go into our report view and we go back into our uh, customer name, we can now select a single customer and you can see how our data is now going to update based on that customer selection. So potentially short and sharp, uh, but the purpose of this video was simply to show you how to create those relationships in your data model, which of course are going to be uh, very important if you're going to be working with multiple tables in your data set as I'm sure you probably will be. If you have any questions at all with this or future videos, please just drop a comment below the applicable video and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And lastly, if you do enjoy these videos, please don't forget to hit that like button. It's not only greatly appreciated by me, but it does help that all important YouTube algorithm enabling other people to also find these videos as well.